Welcome to the Ultimate Fan Cast, where fans are the star of the show. Each week, we explore the epic co created Battle Bunnies franchise from legendary artists Frank and Crystal Linatra and the team at Junkbox Studios. Ultimate fans join BBS, Lord L, and Brian as they dive deep into the extraordinary world of the Battle Bunnies. Plus, we'll be your guides and take you backstage with the creators and actors who are captivating family audiences worldwide. Are you ready to meet this week's Ultimate Fan? It's time to fan up and enjoy the show. Welcome, everybody, again for another installment of the Ultimate Fan Cast. Today, we have an Ultimate Fan, which I guess we're all Ultimate Fans, but we have an Ultimate Fan backstage right now. Uh, you may have seen him in your DMs trying to uh, to snipe one of your NFTs, or you may just have seen him at the top of the leaderboard fighting, if not being the number one holder of most of the Battle Bunnies itself. We've got Clopping, man. Welcome to the stage, Clopping. Hey. Hey. How you doing, guys? Uh, I wanted to put a little thing out there just to say that you're like the, the number one holder. That way, Aaron was a little bit... Uh, <laughs> you even turn you around. That's one for you, Aaron, oh, mate. Goodness. So I love it. I love it. First out of the two to uh, to come up and embrace the stage. So, and shout out to you, my man. How, how's things? Doing great, man. Having a great time. Uh, kind of sad the the weekend's almost over, but uh, ending it this mm. way is is awesome. So, uh, no, it's been great. Yeah, we definitely uh, we definitely appreciate you coming on. We uh, we. Uh, we are ultimate fans and we know you're an ultimate fan. Like, uh, mm -hmm. like, uh, the, uh, you're, you're all over the place. Just like us, like in the, oh, yeah. in I the collection in the, like we see in the TCG chat, like you're part of the play testers. I mean, you're, you're an ultimate fan. If there's a definition for an ultimate fan for the battle bunnies, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. I appreciate that. I drank the BB Kool-Aid probably, uh, around christmas time uh last year or so and and it, and i just keep on matter of fact i i brought some with me tonight so you know it's oh. uh it's it, it i'm always drinking yeah. it oh so, yeah love the battle bunnies very nice uh now uh, for those those of us that are listening and are watching this uh that don't know the story like what what kind of brought you in like how what what is that uh what was the hook that uh that got you into the Battle Bunnies community and what keeps you here? Yeah, sure. So a, a short story, um, and I guess there's some background to it um, that I'll be quick about, but made some friends over at Beatheads, which was another NFT project that was popular last year and um, actually got to meet them in person. They had an IRL. And so uh, those two people, there was many, but the two that stuck with me and really brought me into Battle Bunnies was uh, our good friend, Aaron over at DPS. And then um, our, uh, I forget what his title is, the ultimate uh, battle bunny fan or uh, what is he? Anyway, Disco. So Disco, Disco Birds, <laughs> yeah. He's number one hot bunny. I forget his name. Yeah, number, yeah, one number one hot bunny, bunny yeah. yes. He's got no, a lot of right, titles, so go. that's just there one of my closest friends, but I forgot his name. <laughs> <laughs> All well-deserved. Well, I know his <laughs> other name, right? So, But Disco is he stands in Discord, and so – um, you know, what happened was I, I, I kind of followed Aaron over when he created DPS, although um, somehow I missed him when he started it out, but got in pretty quick. Um, mm -hmm. I think it was the second tournament. I ended up winning that tournament and had a few dollars in my pocket and went to Aaron and Disco and said, hey, guys, I want to put back in the community, you know, this money that I've won. Where's a good place to, to go? And and Disco, he didn't take a breath you know he just said battle bunnish dude if you haven't seen him you need to check it out that crew over there is just amazing and it's a really good time mm -hmm. i think he was even mentioning it was reminiscent of of beatheads in the beginning when we really were spending a lot of time and everyone's getting to know each other so jumped over there saw that there was a raffle um i i think it was like 60 bucks well i had that from the win and so i just threw my name in the raffle not really expecting anything and i, I still remember it i was visiting some some relatives in washington uh, state and here comes my name on a wheel and it pops and so and I, I think i forgot to mention it was for spartan right so just i didn't even know what i had everyone went wild everyone went crazy well now i had something special and so i just kind of jumped in started researching started hanging out with the crew and in real i mean within days just figured out wow this is a place this is a place i really want to be you know these are these are the kind of friends that you you used to have way back when in school you know when you had all that time together and so 
Um, it just took off from there. And, and I really haven't looked back, um, stop, really stopped investing in, in NFTs in most NFTs and really just focused all my efforts in battle bunnies. And, and, uh, and I do like what Aaron's doing with DPS. I know this is a battle bunnies, but you know, he, he really has been an integral part in, um, keeping me in battle bunnies. And then of course, challenging me. So I, I do have a bit of a, uh, we go at each other all the time during mints and, and trying to be the, be the person with the, the most battle bunnies. And so I do think I still haven't beat on series one. I'm not sure where I'm at. I think he's got me on series two, but series one, I, I definitely have. We're not, we're not all uh, battle bunnies. We love our DPS. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, still, there's a lot of over. Yeah. We love, we love the fun rivalry that you three have on the yeah. back end. It, it's, mm -hmm. it's so fun. And, you know, we're, Aaron's an ultimate fan here too. You know, we're an ultimate fan of DPS. Like we're, mm -hmm. It's the, how it is. It's the community where, like you said, that's the people that are here. It's your friends, and you know whatever Aaron says. Usually, I mean, I'm I'm over there as well. Like, because again, you know, we we are all a big family, big community. We you know we hang out. We do a lot of the same stuff together. So that that's what makes us the ultimate fans, I guess. <laughs> yep, yep, I I agree. Um, you know, and it really is. You know, it's it's it really is that trifecta or that quinfecta or whatever it is you know it's like four or five i think groups that are really strong in that mm. group and so and you're always seeing them you know you go to any of the discords and you're seeing everyone hang out in the same place and that's it's just so neat because that's it's kind of unique i mean in the nft space it's really everyone starts something and they kind of want to keep everyone over in that space and not let them go anywhere else and uh this family mm. is like hey if one if one family member's minting then everyone's plugging in and, and we're jumping over there and helping out so i just i just love that i love that and i you know i love that that you really get that you know oh you're always hearing frank hey we're not anybody's welcome you talk about anything you want you do you know it's just i just mm -hmm. love that it's not um i don't know just that that togetherness that that welcoming to anybody you know i just well, that's it, it's how so i jump on discord and see where everyone's at I'll, I'll flick through the, the the four or five like you just said and see what voice chat we're in or where we're where all the yep. action is <laughs> <laughs> that's how it do you is do that too do you do you look at it and go where am i okay i'm here i can talk about yep. it yep that, that, I'll, even, I'll, I'll even tag tag frank or or aaron and say where's everyone at and that yep. someone would say yep we're in this vc or we're at the drink and draw or we're in tcg and you know you are a massive part in the tcg every time i pop in there i've been trying to give them as much as i can but every time i pop in you're definitely in there behind the scenes i'm helping with that like how's that going for you Oh, that's been great. I mean, you know, I was kind of, uh, I, I, I actually, a lot of firsts, right, with Battle Bunnies. I've never played a TCG. I wasn't into magic. Played Dungeons and Dragons when I was a kid, but never really got in the cards. And so mm -hmm. this really is my first um, uh, dabble into uh, TCG. And yeah, and and so I, I got so excited about it. Uh, Creature helped me out and I printed out a deck of cards because I just wanted to get a I'm kind of a physical person, so I need to see things. I'm not really good at tabletop, although I'm learning and getting better. So I just wanted to be able to feel them, touch them, read them, and and have some mock play, you know, at home. And so spent a weekend and, and printed these guys out. I actually have three or four versions because they've, as the arts developed, I I print new cards out. So it's just kind of been a. Wow. Uh, I went from really never experiencing TCG to now having my own. I, I think they're even marked, so I can't, you know, call them the the official decks, but they certainly are pretty close to it and, and really appreciated um, being able to be in those conversations. And, and there, it was crazy. There was all kinds of conversations. We went from talking about like, what was going to, what were the decks going to look like? What were the cards going to look like to just having powwows where we're talking about where's this headed? You know, is this, is this the right path? And so just being able, I just feel so honored to be able to be part of all of that. And it was so neat to just yeah. be so welcoming. To that. I felt like I was like, it was like every day was alpha world. Right. I mean, that's, that's so cool with this whole TCG thing. It was like, and it really is. I mean, every day we're learning and growing together and, and, and growing the game, but I'll tell you gamer and, and creature, they're just phenomenal guys, awesome players mm -hmm. and uh, had a chance to play this Tuesday. And uh, I, I won't, I, all I'll say is I was able to walk away from that playing gamer and I was petrified I was super scared. Cause that man is <laughs> a phenomenal so player. And so it was so yeah. fun. Just, just honored to be able to play uh, a game with him and uh, really looking forward to doing it in person when we go to, go to well, Rich. And that's going to be so much fun. Definitely. The FOMO is yeah. kicking in for me now, even though you said you printed them yourself, like <laughs> the fact that 
you know, Creature helps you with them and you're such an integral part of it. You know, these are prototypes of the game itself. Like, even though they come from your personal printer or, you know, the local shop that you got them done from, it's it's still it still counts as the prototype. Like, that's, that's amazing to have. Oh, I'll hold on to them. They're not, they're, they'll go, you know, once I get the once I get the production decks, these will certainly go in as history and and stick them in the safe or wherever, just as part of the the journey, you know, doing this this game. So um, I've really fallen in love with it. You know, I don't know um, so much so that I actually went this weekend. It was my anniversary, and we went. I talked my wife into going to a card show um, just so I can start seeing more about you know TCG and what it was. And and uh, I got kind of scared. It's just that's so busy. I love this because I know it now. So we'll we'll mm-hmm. go with ba- Battle Bunnies TCG TCG for a while, and uh, or I think. Scyther Chronicles is what they're going with. And uh, um, I'll play mm-hmm. that for a bit and see if I want to dabble any further. But I certainly can keep myself busy with this game. They've really done a phenomenal job. And I'm super excited to see it go live and actually be able to touch those cards. Yeah, 12 months ago, you were never played a TCG game, never even thought of looking at a TCG game. <laughs> now you're going on the anniversary to uh, conventions for games and TCGs. Like, man, that. That's wild on its own, bringing an extra love. Yep. Yeah, and turning out your own deck. Like I didn't, I, I didn't, I saw this mm. picture when you posted it to the TCG chat uh, section in Discord. And I thought that you just had like an early set of the cards. Like I, I honestly didn't mm. put that together well until done. you said this, that you, you took the time and effort to actually print out just like the mock-ups. So you'd have physical cards that you could play with. That's awesome. Yep. And, and, and I'll tell you in person, I, I know the cards that are coming out are going to be even better, but just these on my cheesy little printer and laminating them, the art is just amazing. I mean, yeah. Frank is just phenomenal. I mean, you can't, that's certainly something about battle bunnies. You can't deny the artist is top notch. Oh yeah. 100%. So do you have a card in the deck? Uh, I'm sure you do. Like that's one of your, one of your battle bunnies or a couple I do not of yet. Them? I do, do not, not yet. yet. I, I, I got in a little late, so I didn't get into series one. I wasn't in time to actually get into start buying into the initial series one. I think okay. I the first uh battle bunny that I actually bought was during Christmas time and the um the Uligans. And so I bought a I bought a bunch of those guys, and that's what started me out in it. Um so but I do have a custom in series two. Um mm-hmm. and then uh, I do well, actually series one. I apologize. I do have one in series one on the light dragons. And so I'm super excited to do that. I did end up collecting enough uh, series one bunnies to get in a custom. So that is in the works at some point. Yeah. Um, nice. And I think it's going to awesome. end up being, well, I won't say, but I, I think it's mm-hmm. going to end up being in another deck. So these, these two decks, uh, pirates and um, Vikings. Thank you. Vikings. Uh, what are you what class are you doing? Well, so here's the interesting thing. When I first started, I took the quiz, and the quiz, without question, um, told me I was a Valkyrie. But um, there was a few people that made fun of me for that, and so I think I'm revisiting. Not me. I, no, no, the not BBS, here. Not BBS, BBS, BBS. Just, it was BBS. It was BBS. Look at that tomorrow. <laughs> BBS you know, just that there's so many choices, right? And Valkyries are normally girls, and I'm a guy, you know. So, so uh, um, hey, it's 2023, no. man. Like, I, I, you know, you can I, be where you want to be. Like, I'm with you. But after I thought about it, there were some things that happened in my journey that kind of that that's what put the icing on the cake for me to choose a different faction. And so, um, I'm hoping we'll be able to get into that deck, um, one of the customs, and, and actually have my name on the card. So, very nice. You are you going to share which of the factions you want to be, or is that is that still? No, we'll leave that one a secret. That little secret. That'll be a secret. Okay, that's a yeah, future yeah. episode to come back. That's a callback. We're gonna have to. I like do. it. I like it. It's, it. it's, <laughs> it. it's going to be shaman, and he's going to get a card in there before Aaron. I knew Luke was going to say something about shaman. I just knew well, it. I'm a, I'm a shaman <laughs> too. So obviously, shout out to our shamans, and and I know the the the, the rivalry that you guys have, the, the fun rivalry. Um, and I'd love to see Aaron's face when he, he finds out you're going to be a shaman in the deck before him as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's joking, Aaron. I was joking, my man. You, yeah. you get, you well, I certainly can't wait to beat him uh, in a game at Richmond. So I, there's no question that's going to happen. Yeah, little rivalry right there, a little poke. Yeah, Richmond coming up in October, for those that don't know, is uh, 
is a convention that uh, a tattoo and N NFT convention that uh, will have some live poker play. And also we're going to have a meeting of the battle bunnies uh, and Frank and Krista and everybody I think is going to be there. So um, it's going to be exciting. Mm -hmm. I, I have never been. I told my wife I was going to. To I, told, I was like, I think I need to go to a tattoo convention. She's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the guy was zero. That'd tattoos. be the same for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The guy was zero tattoos. My wife has a couple, but like, I tell her that I'm going to go to a tattoo convention, and she just looks at me like I'm crazy. And then, you know, she sees these <laughs> you know, these bunnies behind me. Obviously, I've been collecting and the digital form and I'm turning into physical form so that I can just, you know, love on them all day long while I'm working. And she just, she doesn't quite got it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm with you. I don't have a single tattoo as well. So I, it's my wife was certainly surprised when I told her I was going to a tattoo convention. So yeah. <laughs> I'm right there Does with you. Does she play poker? Does she play <laughs> poker? Because she, no. you can't get her on the DPS things. Uh, nope. Nope. Yeah, that, that yeah, can make it. Yeah. A I did get her a cup though. I did end up getting her to pick a dragon so that we could get her a coffee cup. So at least I, you know, baby steps. Oh, yeah. My wife, wow. <laughs> my wife has a Valkyrie. She has my wife has a Valkyrie. She has a Spartan. Um, she has some baby dragons, like, and she just doesn't. She's like, yeah, it's cute. Like, she just, I, I don't <laughs> think she gets it yet. Like, and we don't expect everybody to get it. Like, right. that's the thing is, like, there will be something though. Like, I think down the line, like. I know the TCG probably won't be her thing, but let's say we get into movies or, you know, animation or, you know, who knows, like there might be something mm -hmm. that eventually is that hook. And that's what I love about our community. I'm, I begged her to read the unlikely Spartan um, and she, she's agreed to finally read it. But uh, I was like, you'll just, if you read the book, you'll understand. And yeah, I, I so think that's, that's the gateway. That whole, oh, sorry, man. Mm -hmm. Someone that holds so many, right? Do you have a favorite though? Is it hard for you to choose a favorite, or do you have do you have a favorite of the whole Battle Bunnies franchise so far? What's your favorite NFT? Oh wow, that's a tough one. A favorite. Um, the next well, one. Well, yeah. So I do have a favorite. In, in, the in, next in, one. That's the brand. So, and, and I'll just share a little bit about the story, but during, when I started getting, so I'm a little obsessive compulsive. I don't know if, you know, going from uh, within, you know, four or five months going to the biggest, one of the largest holders isn't a testament to that, but I was starting to buy up some stuff once I got into them around Christmas time. And I ran into um, one of the early developers on the project. And uh, he lives out of the country and he had a collection that he was selling because he had some some things he had to take care of some, some IRL stuff. And one of the things that came with that in the package was a Spartan. And I had a chance to actually have a voice conversation with him just to, you know, check in with him, see what was going on, why it was happening. And then, um, mm. you know, ultimately make a deal with it. And his story, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that to myself just cause it's kind of our, it, that was our thing, but his story really touched me. And so the Spartan that I got from him, um, is probably one of my most special. Um, certainly the one that brought me in is magical because I wouldn't be here without it, I don't think. Um, and I got that from Mrs. Flyer, Miss Firefly. So that was cool. But the, oh, that's the, great. That's the, yeah, the Spartan that I got from him was just, it's kind of, I got the card with it and that's just, that one will always be with me regardless of whatever happens. That's, that's one of those things I'm just going to always hold on to. So for that reason, you know, it's not so much the art necessarily as it is just a story that goes with it. But I think that's Battle Bunnies. I mean, I think yeah. just about everybody that you that you talk to that that is a passionate Battle Bunnies uh, holder, there's usually a story that goes with that NFT. It's not just about the NFT. It's not just about the art alone. You know, it's it, there. There's like a whole story that goes with it. So, um, you, you know, and yet it's just another reason that the I'm just fell in love with the Battle Bunnies. So but that one, that one's super special to me. So, um, but not, again, nothing specific other than the story that came with it. No, but you're, you're, you're special in this place too, man, because, you know, I know you, you, you snagged up the last eggs of the, I think it was the Snowflake Valley, or no, that no, was the Mystic Mire maybe, and you were only willing to give them to people that actually wanted them. Like, they, yeah. you know, before that, you would not even, you wouldn't get a parent to grab them out of your hands. There's no way. You, if, if I came to you and said, look, I've already got four, I want another one, you would have been like, sorry, man. But, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're special to me, but the family's special too. So if it's somebody, if it's going somewhere that's going to give it a good home, 
then that that's and it's it's been far and few between. There's only been a couple that I've done that with because they are all special to me. But when you can create another story, because that's what brought me in, I, I kind of like to pay that forward, if you will. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I feel the same way. Like when you reached out and said, "Hey, I need um I need a few bunnies," I was like, "Ah, oh, you're ripping my heart out here." But <laughs> if it had been anybody else, I would have said no. Yeah. Um, and I and I mean that. Um, so I like that. listening, like having that history with you and, and the beat heads that you've brought up um, and seeing your, your passion with collecting the art there. And then knowing that you, you hopped over <laughs> to the bunnies um, and that you're in a place, I feel like right now where it's like the things that you do, the moves that you make within this, within this um, project uh, are all like really good moves. Like they're not, you're not going to get something and it's going to be floored. You know, right. the, the although that's not really what it is, it's not about the value of it, but it's nice to know that if you invest in something, it's not going to be like something that's floating around in your wallet saying, how do I get rid of this? Right. Or, do I hide this? Because I don't want anybody to see it. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, I, and I've said it before, you know, it's the what I've invested in Battle Bunnies today. It, mm. And I don't feel for a second this would ever happen, but if it did in, in the value, you know, the, the, the monetary value went to zero, I still got my money. You know, I'm, I'm happy yeah. with where I'm at now between the experiences, mm. the, you know, growing with the community, participating with the community. Um, I, I would never, I, I've already been paid back. And so from this point on, it's just icing mm. on the cake. So. Yeah. I've, second that I, i'm also a lot like you bill where i you know kind of you know stepped in and then i just like got a little ocd and i started collecting and started buying and <laughs> like everybody's like who's this brian guy and yeah. it keeps coming in and sweeping the floor and taking all the dragon eggs that keep getting sold and stuff like that and you know just for me it just i fell in love i fell in love with the community i love you know i love it that you know it doesn't seem like I'm just chatting with random people and stuff like that online. Like I've really got relationships with, you know, obviously we came together and we put this fan cast on because, you know, we want, we want to celebrate the fans. Like we don't want to just be a, a name on a discord server or, you know, an NFT in a collection. We're part of something bigger. So that's why, you know, we put this together and we just, you know, it, it, we're becoming friends and, you know, in real life where, you know, I'm kind of introverted. So this really kind of pulled me out of my shell a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah. And you did, you came in hot and heavy and it was like, who is this Brian dude, man? He is just buying this thing up. I'm like, Oh yeah. man, I'm glad I got in with the series one when I did, cause I have a feeling you would have, you probably would have meant it a few. Yeah. I would have meant it a few. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, in a smart you, way though guys, like so you guys pick up something slowed down though right like i've slowed down right you don't mm -hmm. see my name like there's all kinds of uligans i could buy up right now but i don't need them like i'm a completionist like yeah. a self-proclaimed <laughs> completionist i've got one of each egg you know i've got all 25 of the egg types mm -hmm. so that completed that in my mind um i've got 12 of the 13 Uligans, and I'm not going to get that 13th one. That one's never coming out of any. I had that one. I did have that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I sold it to Aaron. <laughs> you did? You had it? So you helped, you yeah. helped Aaron. Uh, I held it for a week, though. I really, I really, um, I bothered him for a week about it because I was like, ah, I'm not interested. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I would have, I would have been interested in a gift, but Uligan, <laughs> or not the gift one. <laughs> of the of the yeah. battle bunnies itself like you said earlier like it's yeah. it's the community that we're following is you know we're not so like the art is a bonus um you know we're investing ourselves in frank and krista we're investing ourselves in in you clopping in, in you brian and you bbs because yeah. you know we are the community we do control the price we do control everything to do with the whole project that's everyone listening right now even if you're not a holder you're just just talking about it but although every holder has that opportunity and has the, the power to project on where we go in this space and the fact we have so many like-minded people and so many people in our in our circle that value this project so much it's non-financial advice obviously like it's it's nothing anywhere but up because we know the true value we know the potential like you said Brian you, you would snap them up in a heartbeat right now off the floor like there's no but 
you've got what you want. Now let, we're leaving yeah. it for other people to come in, like myself. You know, I'm not gifted enough to to hold a hundred series one, but I, I do cherry pick what I want to go. And you know, when we see Brian clopping and Aaron swooping up all the good ones, <laughs> all the good ones, just all the ones that just come up like you know straight away. You know, and you, know, you guys do care about the community as well. You know, because we are the community. So. You know, use not snapping those ones up now gives gives more shot for me to uh, wait for for payday on Thursday to snap up another one. So it's you know, it's, yeah, you yeah, one. we're collectors and we're yeah. I was gonna say you can hold one yeah. NFT or you know a hundred plus. Man, we're we're all just as much a part of this community, and that's what we don't see in this Web three space. Like I say that loosely because I'm sure there's some people listening that do have you know other little you know places that they go and chill out and they have their their other little families, but Battle Bunnies, you know, our, our quad factor or whatever you wanted to call it is it's kind of paving the way of the way that this NFT space is going. You know, it isn't just the Discord where you jump in and grind and, you know, try and talk as much as you can to get your experience points up to get into a whitelist and so on and so forth. Like this isn't the, that this isn't the space anymore. You know, this is it's about trust and honesty and transparency and, you know, doing what you say you're going to do. And I think that's the biggest thing that, you know, mm-hmm you have to do in this space and obviously we see the battle bunnies doing that through and through like we don't even have a roadmap anymore you know it's it's more of what we've done to to what you know what we we're gonna do because it's it's just the world is our oyster and us as a community like you massive part of the tcg game that's all community based like the novel it's all community based and all that is bringing more value to the battle bunnies and that's us again it's the community you know we're we're bound together. Like, how many times have we sent? Uh, and I say this non-financial. Make sure you check who you're sending your stuff to. But you know, I like BBS would be like, oh, "Can I have this bunny?" And I'm like, "Sweet as I'd send it to him before he even sent me the money." Like, yep. you know, you wouldn't do that in in hardly probably no other Discord. Like, come on, like like you wouldn't do it. And you know, and I don't I don't advise people to do that either um, because you know, we don't want it to get to mucked up. But it's like I know when I'm talking to Brian, I've got a long thread of messages from him, so I know it's him. You know, and I'm sending it to his normal world. So it's like doing a deal on the back end with you know with our family members. It's 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 so seamless, and I think you know it's not nothing like it just goes to show. That's the battle bunny. That's the effort. That's the that's what we hear about. It's the community. It's the love. It's, you know, it, it doesn't mean as much, but it it does at the same time. Like for someone outside looking in, it's like oh yeah, so what? But no, it's it's massive. You know, you get scammed in this space so often, so quickly, and. You know, the fact that you can trust someone that before now I never even seen your face clopping, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I've just got this PFP and I know you're in America somewhere, but I'd still send you a thousand dollar NFT, no problem. No one's <laughs> gonna, gonna give it back. <laughs> yep. So yeah, it's a tricky way to like send stuff too, right? And so like uh, clopping or like I, I had a story earlier with Aaron where I sold him that that um that Yule again. But you know, like again, like if it's not clopping or if it's not Aaron, like I Aaron, with him, it's like, like with anybody that's on this stage right now, it's like, it's that word trust. And you build that through time. And with when Aaron said, hey, you know, to tell you the truth, and I don't tell Aaron this, although maybe it's gonna be local, (laughs) public now, but um, I would have just given it to him. Like, I just, you know, and I've and I've just given him stuff. So um, it it does none of that matters. Um, You know, it's nice to get like a little monetary piece mm-hmm. to that you know of course like it helps the the like lessen the blow yep. but um yeah like so i didn't mean to like it, earlier i was like oh you know i got teased aaron about that but tr- truth of it is, is that i completely trust him and clopping and and, and those are the only two that i've really helped uh, i have a story with with disco who we see you know all these the beatheads crew right oh, yeah. um it's great that you know we have this this cluster of um crew right that are from the beat heads and they've kind of hopped over and and i love that so it's it's great like that was one of the one of the things i really liked about that group was we all just hung out and and talked and collected and um and i feel like that's just kind of continued yeah you know, like you said you know like the, the four of us on stage there's like i've got like a a phone book of 40 plus people that i trust just as much as everyone on stage now so and, and it's just continuing to grow day by day you know like we're getting more and more people you know jumping in jumping into the battle bunnies jumping into you know dps or wherever else we are hanging out at the time and you know you create these relations and it's it's, it's just what we breed over here 
at the yeah. battle bodies. <laughs> yep. Well, and I think something that I heard early on too that really where I really enjoyed it was because you were getting into all these projects back then that were mm. you know two three hundred dollar NFTs everywhere, and the big mm. thing was if you have an NFT, then you're cool in the space, right? You're cool in Discord. If you don't, you were kind of an outcast. And I really, and I saw a lot of that. And I really dug what Aaron, uh, what Krista and Frank did when I came in. It was just like, you guys don't have to own anything. This is, we're here to hang out. We're here to share our love for what we do, you know? And that mm-hmm. always stood out to me because it was, and they meant it. I really, you know, t- today, I, that's truly authentic. It's like, you don't have to be a holder to be part of the family. And I mean, certainly it, it, it makes you closer, right? It, it gives you that connection. Um, but I just love that they come at it that way. And it really is. They're just trying to build a family. And you know what? If you if you pick up an NFT on the way, great. If you don't, you're still welcome like everyone else. And I've, I've always appreciated mm-hmm. that about, about this project. Well, you got the chance to win something in Discord because, you know, they've always got something going on. You know, something like that. You just, you know, click, click, click an emoji. Just be, be active. Be like, be a part of everything. Just come to the drink and draws. You know, you you you'll get an icon or a pog, yeah. or you know, you, you you go to the 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 rabbit hole. Like, man, that's that that on its own. Like, there's so many different ways. And the the biggest thing that you know, Frank and Krista, and you know, like everyone that we're a part of right now is a big thing about. It. Is like, it's you know, just because you're minting doesn't mean you know you're not going to put send people to other discords is, you know, we don't, we're not trying to sell you something. We want you to buy it if you want it. It's right. that's as simple as it gets with, with the bunnies. And that's how I've always felt welcome. And, you know, I, I literally that that's exa- in a nutshell is exactly what it is. Like, yeah, we, there's no financial, there's no nothing. Like, it's just come hang with us, have fun. And if you want to buy one, it's really does buy one because if not, I'm gonna buy them. So, <laughs> <laughs> or I'm gonna buy them. <laughs> yeah. Would you be interested in playing a game? Um, with that, I love uh, games. you love games. I, I know you do. You play the TCG. So, well, uh, now, so. Um, yeah, I'm certainly so, not that yeah. good at games, but I do love playing games. <laughs> well, this there you this go. combines your love of games <laughs> plus your love of the battle bunnies. Um, so it's, it's a win-win, right? And it, it's, uh, um, it's just something we're testing out. Like, uh, it's called name that bunny. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and what it is, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna show you 10 images and oh, wow. you, uh, you get to you get to see what the bunny is and then name that. But it's not going to be as hard as you think. Uh, you've been in and around the community since December. Like a lot of these, you'll probably recognize. Like this one, who's that? Name that bunny. That is Narf. No, it's King Harold. Oh, I mean Harold. Oh, I thought it was an easy King, one. Oh. See, <laughs> I told you. Like, I, you, yeah, I'm stressed out now. I'm just nervous. You can take oh, them all again. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you know, like, on on we can edit can, this. It, 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 it does look like yeah. It, it does look like uh, it does look like Narf. But this is this is King Harold. Yes. Um, and you're probably like me because we didn't come in early, early. So we don't. Do you have like the King Harold uh, NFT land, the one that they gave away? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, so you do have that one. I so should this say no because it make me sound it make it sound better. But yeah, I do have it. Oh, awesome. Okay. Well, I, I was trying, you know, I was trying. People get close to show, you know, someone with a caliber <laughs> club. Don't know it. It's here now. <laughs> oh, well. I'm to get a DM from Frank. Uh-oh, yeah. All right. Who Who is this one? And that has hints. got to be, oh, let's see. What's his name? Pirate. Um, Dad. You can name you can name the you can name the owner of it if you know the owner of it too. That that works as well if you know that it's like somebody in the project and um no, I'm going to You know, it's probably safer if I just keep saying Narf and then at least I'll look like <laughs> I'm I don't think I have I'll shot water out of my nose. <laughs> um, <laughs> if I if I give you a hint, it, it's owned by your ops guy. He's and he's in the book. Oh, it's uh, yes. Um, you can find a friend. 
Can I? Yeah. Can I phone a friend? I, I'm just, yeah. Phone just, a friend. Phone a friend. <laughs> you, does does BBS know? Yes. Yes. <laughs> is that Mothy? All right. No. <laughs> it is not Pirate Mothy. <laughs> Wow, this uh, is good. Jack Beard. Thank you guys. I would guess Jack Beard. There you go. Ding, 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 That's ding. it. I made these harder than I thought. All right. Yeah. You know, it's, Maybe it's, I'm probably going to stump you on these then. Like, uh, yeah. It's fun. I, I don't like it because we're all this, this is, we're all in Discord every day and we see all this every day, but we're all like, um, sheesh. <laughs> We're right there with you, Bill. Don't worry. <laughs> oh man, I guess I'm the only one that like geeks out about this stuff. Like, uh, well, now I know. Now into... I know. I do want to redo at some point. So, you okay, you get redo, yeah, you get you get a chance to study up all on right. this because we did right, right, we sprung this on you. So, um, do you guys have any idea who this one is? This looks like a a, a Prince Reagan for sure. Original, uh, not... original, original. original. Any BBS anything? Lothbrook deny. This is Lothbrook deny. Is it Lothbrook? Uh, yeah, this is I Lothbrook. It was Reginald. No, it's not Reginald. I am just completely embarrassed. Uh, keep man, going. I hope I get an easier one in here. Going. All right. How about this one? I know who that is. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm going to phone a friend. BBS. Uh, it's getting cold in here. C O. Oh, Frost. Yes. yes. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Wow. I made this really hard. This one's probably going to be a stumper then, because this isn't one like you'd have to be like in the collection. And I but it, never love the seen background. The background on this one. Yeah, I love that. You've one. never seen That's this awesome. background? No. Oh, this, is, this is the okay. hell background, right? Uh, the Tower of Hell. Uh huh. And this yeah. is Luna Diablo. I figured this okay. one would be a stumper. So this is. This is Luna. Wow. I think this is one of the uh, the uh, um, Food Fight Studios people owns sure. this. Yeah. So, um, all right. This is definitely probably going to be a stumper then. Um, but I wanted to show this cute guy. Off. <laughs> Name? I don't. I don't know who. It... Yeah, you probably know the class of egg, right? What's the class? It's a. Well, it came from. That's the. That's the uh, egg hoarder. Yeah, it's the egg hoarder. This is this is a uh, class of the um, dragon. I don't remember. Yeah, but this is Jackson the Jester, and I actually don't know who owned this one. Like, I oh wow, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got. I, I'm I'm understanding this game now. I will be better prepared if I get a Jackson round. the Jolly Jester. This, this is to show everybody <laughs> that in our community, like unlike other NFTs where you have an NFT ID and it's set in mm. stone forever, our community members have written backstories and they've yeah. changed the name on these characters and they mm -hmm. sometimes like, you know, they become that person, you know, they use that, like that's their discord name and, you know, this is the image of it. So, um, so I don't think you know, this particular um, uh, mature dragon was somebody's like, you know, PFP or anything like that. Not that I've seen. Yeah, right. um, how about this one? This is a novel character, but it's the, the Battle Bunnies version of it. So, it's from we have the novel. A, yeah, that, we have a Valkyrie. It's not Queen Christikins. No, it's um, what's her name? She's the one that goes on the whole adventure. Yeah. Yep. You're um, on the right track. <laughs> I, yeah, my brain's blown now that I already ruined it. So not. <laughs> I, You're gonna just, be 10 no for 10 next My nerves have just gone through the ceiling now because I haven't got <laughs> anything right. All right, John, we've got to cut this part out of the episode because yeah. we've we've flummoxed John. Bill with the. With <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I thought Don't I. Don't worry, I guarantee that. BBS and Luke would be sweating too. Oh man, I'm, I'm, we're all, I'm sweating that you don't ask me. You know what I mean? I'm like, <laughs> how do you not know this one, Bill? Come yeah, on. I got Dave man. and Miss Firefly, and that's. I this this is Sonia. This is Sonia from the book. Yes, um, there it is. All right, and no one's gonna know this one. No, but I don't know. You, you know the owner. The the owner of this one is Mrs. Firefly, and this mm -hmm. is Sifu. Okay. Um, so so I'm not gonna go through that one. And this was a guest earlier, uh, in the episodes. Uh, somebody that plays uh, a lot of TCG. This is one of his that he named. 
but no one's going to know the name of it. But he mentioned it when we did the interview with him, Luke and BBS. All right, BBS. I mentioned it. What do you think it is? <laughs> do you guys know what it? You guys forgot since we talked to to creature. Um, this is Plutarch. Is creature, right? This is Plutarch. This is Plutarch. Plutarch. Okay. Plutarch. This is Tark. his ultimate Tark. hero. Yeah. Um, right. My mic cut out. It's Plutarch. Yeah, Plutarch. Got it. And then this is, I, I thought I threw this in. This isn't a part of like the series one collection. This is actually a custom. Custom, yep. Um, I know who the owner is. Pleb. Yeah. What? So I know who the owner is. It's Plebs. Yeah, it's Plebs. Yeah. It's Plebs Custom. I, um, you I guys don't probably know. don't know the name of it. <laughs> I know the artist. Does that count? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the artist, he signed it right down here at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know awesome. the name. I love the swords. This is well, I, 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 I know you know how to pronounce it, but it's it's T Y R. So I'm thinking it's Tyre, mm -hmm. um, is the name that Frank gave it. But it's in his like custom collection of of. Uh, well, everyone listening and, uh, and watching right now, can have, us ultimate fans aren't so <laughs> ultimate in everything. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we try though. You know. Yeah, yeah, oh, but we, what's the old saying? Fool me once, shame yeah. on me. Fool, no, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame yeah. on me. So, <laughs> yeah, we're, we'll give we we'll, we'll give you a second chance. We might even create a game that the community can play. I think it's awesome. Um, at some mm -hmm. point, we'll put it on like our website or something like that, where they can they can practice before they join us on the show, so that they have. Um, that's the great thing about our collection is that. I mean, even just with series one, where we we gave that uh, ability for individuals to to put the backstories and change the names of the NFTs, there's what three thousand seven hundred and fifty of them, and I would guess that maybe half of a percent have like backstories and names. So there's so much opportunity yeah. yep. for you to you know, if you're a holder, you can create a backstory and give your NFT a name and a personality. And eventually it could show up in this game of name that bunny. Super fun is seeing what Frank and Krista do for the name that bunny. I know they're going to get quizzed on this. Yeah. yeah. Don't, nobody, Ooh, like nobody tell them, like, that, you know, I'll put it in the show flow. Um, so, th and if they ask me any questions, then I might give them a hint of what it might be. But uh, well, chances no. are they've, they've already listened and watched to the rest of these. Uh, yeah, they're probably getting John to help them, at, like give them a heads up on what the episodes are like no. and all that. Stuff. Chris, <laughs> they would know. They would literally just look at them and go, "Oh, that's that's, that's not." Yeah, well, and yeah. I, think, I think you you got you brought up something that uh, I think is super important to the. And what makes the project stand out a little bit from most, and 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 that is that idea of you know what when you buy an NFT, it's not just an NFT. It's like the opportunity to be part of something much bigger, and and literally, right? Not not just figuratively, but literally, you can go in as you mentioned, write your own story. Um, I'm not good at that, so I haven't done any of that. But you know, that's that's maybe not for me. But certainly, if that if you like, you know making your nfts come to, to come to life it's so cool and then and then you also have that potential to show up somewhere else right in a book um who knows i mean it's like there's just so much coming with this in the tcg and so i just that's the other part of it i love is it's just so many facets of owning the battle bunny nft you know it just gives you so much access to so many other things and and then a great piece of art yeah yeah, yeah. That's well said. You know, if you don't like it, um, you know, one thing about it, there's going to be something that you do like, or you know, that that does interest you in it. And it's that that's the amazing thing. There's so many things going on. Like even us as ultimate fans, we don't know everything, and we don't yeah. know certain sections of different parts of the the battle bunnies because there is literally so much going on. So if you are new and you are jumping in, take it easy, man. Like you know, st start one step at a time because. There is so much going on, and I guarantee there's going to be so much more added. So it's it's a bit daunting, even for me. You know, like I, I'm, I, I always get lost on the Discord. I always get lost on what's going on because there is so much to go on and so much to take in. Mm -hmm. and, but yet I'm I, I'm still surprised, like, every single day. Like, I could sing a background I've never seen before. And, like, I can't believe you didn't get any right clopping. There's only 3,750 in Series 1. Yeah, how did you not know all 3,750 <laughs> Series 1? I mean, you have like half of them, so. 
<laughs> that's what makes it even worse. You you know, as soon as we're done here, I'm going to go and start printing out pictures of bunnies that are named so that I can make sure that I'm ready for the next round. So, well, what do you think Aaron's doing? <laughs> yeah. Well, he's already yeah. On. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I haven't printed them all out. I just grabbed, you know, I grabbed like 60 or 70 of them, of them and I didn't grab all the ones that are named. So that's the great thing is like, people can add to them and add to the names and stuff like that. And I, you know, like, I think it'll be fun just to play, you know, play around with this. And oh, yeah. it, it also exposes, like you guys said, you saw a background you'd never seen before. Like mm -hmm. the tower of hell, like is, you know, is not on a lot of cards, like, or cards. Um, it's not on a lot of, uh, of the, of the NFTs in the collection. So it's, you know, it's rare, it's rare, rare. So, um, so the owners of those things, they have, you know, they have something that's that, you know, doesn't show up every, every day. So that's probably why they named it. You know, it was like, Oh, this is the one I got that no one else has. So <laughs> well, I that's, think that's thing that makes it, like that. Th this project, a lot of fun. And, and I don't know that they're the only ones, but sir, I, you know, it's been a long time. I'm getting up there. I'm, I'm more than middle-aged. And uh, oh, the only thing I can remember that I compare dragon reveals to or egg reveals right egg hatching is, is christmas it's like i get so excited and so antsy when those <laughs> eggs are going to hatch it's like it's crazy i become a child again and i maybe that's part <laughs> of why i keep doing it i don't know yeah. but it's yeah. so cool the way they the team has been able to put that together and and then we all know that this is just a starting point there's so many other things we're going to be able to do with this very the same mm -hmm. nft right and i think that's also what's so neat about it, it's just ever evolving and so you're just never you don't always have the same one it's like it's everything's changing constantly and so that's so much fun too and and you know and I, one, like you said probably with the whole um you know waiting for them to hatch like series one was the worst for me because you didn't know if you had an unhatchable until the very end yep. you know so at least the yeah. series like the, the the dragon the eggs that we're getting now at least they'll tell you if they're unhatchable straight away in the trades back then though it was like you don't want it to hatch because yeah. you want an unhatchable, but yet you want it to hatch because you want to see the the amazing art behind it. Yep. So it's like the series one was definitely a, a bit of a mind um, a mind struggle, you know. <laughs> so, and then here I am. I thought they were going to screw with me, and so they're like, "Hey, Valkyries, you don't have to hatch them." I'm like, "That's a trick. I'm not hatching. <laughs> any. I'm not. I'm not um, incubating any of them. I'm letting them all roll because there's some trick here. It's going to be some. No, I was an idiot, but." That's what's so fun about it is like there's always there's always those little twists and so you just never know and so I don't know mm -hmm. it's just it's just it's there's just so many directions that they go with it it just makes it fun I mean there's just so many ways for it to be fun and I love that to do over would you like do a percentage of your all of them Valkyries like you do fifty percent oh no, I, do them all. I do them all I didn't give you hundred percent yep with. I, this is maybe something I don't remember because I'm new and haven't quite figured it out. Was there an advantage to incubating? Like, was that? Yeah, they, have, they would they skip the baby there? phase. Yep. They'd skip the baby phase. Ah, uh, okay. So they were either I, matures I, I, or elders? Correct. Or unhatchables? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, I had two, so I incubated both. Yeah, I didn't I didn't do any either clopping, if that makes you feel better. And how did you do it again? Good, I think. <laughs> I mean, did you get any? You didn't incubate them, but did they? How far did they make it? I got, I got two matures. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, nice. I think, I think yeah, I ended up matures, getting like, yeah. like the first six or seven were were babies, and then after that, I'm going, man, I have nothing left. I could have picked up some more babies, but to get to that. So anyway, it's just so that could have been I, rare, I, right? I because they, myself, right? they're babies, but they're they're Valkyrie babies, so I'm like they could be rare because everybody sure. else incubated, you know. So exactly. Just that's fun, fun game. And again, that's, that's that. actually too. What do you do, right? Because you, you you're going to skip that phase. Did everyone skip the phase? I actually, didn't even know. Brian, do you know? Have you got the little spreadsheet of that? <laughs> I've got it, but I didn't know that that was something I needed to, <laughs> to add to the spreadsheet. So now I'm going to go add it. Do to you, the spreadsheet. you add it? I knew you add it. <laughs> I mean, like, because here, here's here's the idea. We are the ultimate fan cast. I think at some point we need to come out with the ultimate battle bunnies guide that has like all this stuff explained mm. to people that are coming yeah. into the collection. That's visual, something that they can go look at. You know, they can get a book of it. You know, like mm -hmm. we should produce the ultimate battle bunnies guide that kind of talks to those things. And 
just because I'm so new, I've only been in since May and you know, this is September. Was that four or five months? Like, you know, so I, I just, I didn't realize that was a thing, the incubation that's, versus that's not incubation. Mm -hmm. I, I love that idea, Brian. I think it's really, I thought I asked Frank at one time, Hey, do you mind if I did some kind of uh storyboard or just something that kind of could we put in a poster like everything you need to know about battle bunnies and he's like yeah do whatever you want but i just never had the time to put that together but i always thought about that because mm. it's it is a project you have to be you know you if you're not involved in it throughout you do have to do a little digging to understand all the caveats and the nuances but i think i i, I think you could probably take a poster size and illustrate that pretty well so that new new people that were coming in that are new and really want to understand it all you know, I think you could probably illustrate in the sheet and it might be worth something doing because it is. I mean, it's a little I'm we're so in the middle of it now. It's just calm. You know, you just you live with it. So, you know it. But mm. you make a valid point. It's like you're a huge collector right now. And there's still some things. I don't know. Maybe that's cool because you're being surprised every day. Right. When you learn something yeah. new you didn't know before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I uh, it, it is. It's it's good to learn those things because you just you don't know. Like, I mean, this project's what? 19 20 months like how long is the spart like when did they do the first spartans was it may of 2022 or something like that or 21 right before 21 I, we got it yeah <laughs> it felt like it was right yeah. before we got it <laughs> yeah yeah so it, it it's been a while I, i'd have to go back and look at this stuff but yeah they uh i have that information what am i talking about it's in one of my spreadsheets <laughs> yeah, and Chris has Chris has done a great job. I don't know. We probably don't have that ready to go, but we can probably do it next time. But Chris has done a great job of showing what we've done in the last eighteen months on a you know very wide. He says everything about series one and then the novel, and it's just really well laid out. Um, she's she's done a fantastic job with the the graphic design of you know the extras of the of the project uh little oh, things yeah. that like roadmap, yeah yeah i geek out about what's well, yeah, it's, it's on the pinned post on their on their x or their twitter or whatever you still call it so it's it's a little timeline of you know when everything dropped and what happened and mm -hmm. it was uh november the 28th they were born and it was uh the the, the march 20 it was march 2022 on the 26th that we had the spartan mint so it goes show goes goes back, you know, and from hearing from creature earlier, it, it goes back even further, mm -hmm. which is even awesome to hear. Yeah. I think I have that. Is this the one you're talking about, Phil? Sorry. Uh, let's see. Share screen. Share. Like the this where it shows like all the different things when they drop the story and the NFT collections. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think uh, it's I, similar. There's a different one. There's one there's with a um, one that actually has more dates. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. March 22. Twitter, Brian, it's uh, on the pinned post at the very top. It's uh, it's our roadmap timeline. Oh, I got that too. And it, it's, it, let me switch. I think I have that too. But no, that's uh, <laughs> but yeah, there's just been like you said earlier that we uh, we don't produce our roadmap because it's moving so quickly um mm -hmm. that this is the one you're talking about this roadmap yeah, that's it mm -hmm. yes that's it right there thank you for yeah, that like up. i mean i've been in some other nft collections i mean i'm not brand new to brand new to nfts i'm just brand new to the battle bunnies but like they do like one thing and like it's years later that they do the next thing you mm -hmm. know and like um as a collector you want things that do more than one thing and yep they have delivered on that uh and well, it's so stage. cohesive right i mean it's not it's not random it's you can tell it's very well planned and that that just tells you what mm -hmm. what, what caliber of, of uh, team you're working with right this there's no doubt in my head they have this planned out for the next decade you know and i just i appreciate mm -hmm. that too it's not it's not it's not random it's not on hype it's they have a plan and they're sticking with it and i love that because you start picking up as, as you follow the project, you start understanding what's happening and then you almost can predict what's happening next. And, and I, mm. I, I appreciate that and enjoy that. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned it earlier, Bill, it's the story. Like there is a story that they're following that's in Frank's head and John's head and, you know, Krista, like they, they're telling a story through these images that are now like, probably they were stuck in Frank's head 
and he's now being able to draw them and put them out there and like see them and they're expanding on them. They're, they're going in new directions and adding new things. I mean, we know the mice are coming, but yeah. no one's seen a drawing of a mice yet, but man, I'm going to totally geek out when that first one drops. <laughs> like, I mean, how about you, Bill? It's like, you're oh, yeah. like, uh, I need a few mice. <laughs> oh yeah. It, you know, it's, 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 yeah, a few. Save them for us, please. <laughs> it's the tough part is like i don't want to see them but i do you know it's like i don't want to i don't want to run out of stuff you know so it's like i always yeah. i never mind waiting but then it just drives me nuts because again it takes me back to childhood and then i'm a kid so i just don't know which way i want it you know it's like one side of me says hey i want to see it all now and the other side's like no 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 let's let's take this one step at a time and and make me suffer a little bit so that i can enjoy each new thing that comes out but yeah i'm i am certainly ready for the for uh what's coming next so yeah i want the i want the movie like that's the thing yeah. that like like i want i want to see a movie of this like i want to sit in a theater with the big imax and have like all these things become you know animation of the things we love and just see it on the big screen and experience it with a bunch of strangers that have no idea why people like the four of us are just losing our damn mind. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 like you said, it's only it's with his heads. Like it's, it's it, when when Krista and Frank explained it to me the first time. It's it's a it's a dream they've had from for forever. You know, when they from they when they met in animation school. Like it's it's something that is literally what they want. It's part of their life. It's literally her dream. It's it's literally his dream, and that cohesing it together is just absolutely amazing. Like. And it's it shows through. Like the story is good, the the art is amazing. Like the, the everything behind it, you can tell it's thought after. It's yeah. not just whipped up for us to to mint so they can make some money. Like it's it's a story. It's a it's a franchise. We 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 want to like they say want to be something similar to like Harry Potter or something to Disney with that caliber where it's it's huge. It's it's their life. It's their life's work, and it really shows through with the passion. Yeah that they give us and you know with, with the, the quality of the art that they put out like frank ain't just going to slap no art together he he's real particular on what he does and if it's not right it's scrapped and it started again like it's this is this is for forever you know, uh, you, you know you, we can all talk right now like we're at the 56 minute mark and we're still going and we could continue to talk for hours on end but we, we want to leave some suspense we want to leave some more some more clopping juice for Another time, which I know it doesn't matter how many times we get you up here, mate. We're we're gonna find something else to talk about, and it's because between now and then, I'm sure we're gonna create more memories between now and the next time you're up. But there's still so many things that you know we didn't even cover, or so many things that you know have just gone over our head because there's literally so much to go. And you know, we're all excited, like we were like like Cheshire cats the whole time, from smile from ear to ear, and like when we're all talking, it's like. It, it, this is what happens in you know VC and in Discord too, guys. So if yeah. you know you are listening and you you do love this, man, jump in the Discord because we're in there almost every single day. If we're not in there, we're in DPS. We're on DPS. We're in the Battle Bunnies, or you know we're we're, we're making yeah. a quick appearance over at the Heroes or something. Like we're we're all floating around everywhere. And, you know this yeah. is what we're here. we're ultimate fans, man. And it's glad to have you here, Clopping Man. It's an absolute. You are one of the ultimate fans. Like you. You're one of our biggest whales, like whatever title you want to, um, you know, whatever you want to call you. Everyone knows you for something different, like, but, and we appreciate you, man, and everything that you do for us. And, and I can't wait to see what else we create over the next, you know, 18 months. Like who, who thought we would be here 18 months ago? Like, like you said, you guys are really new, but I definitely didn't think I'd be here 18 months ago, but now sheesh, like anything that, like anything that is said or done now, you know, it's, it's possible. When someone throws out a silly idea, you're like, well, I know, actually, not that silly idea. Someone said something about a, a TCG game. Next mm -hmm. minute, we're, you know, a couple of week, weeks away from actually launching it. So it's, yep. man, it's, it's just amazing. Yeah, thank yeah, you guys. I can't wait I, to I, see I, your. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. After you. I said, I can't wait for, can't wait to see your, uh, your one on one. Oh, it's yeah. like, um, you know, other, other groups and other, other projects, you'd be like, oh my God, that guy always just taking things and just uh but i feel like when you get that one of one we're gonna really see that and we're gonna like cheer for you um i'm so happy yeah, that you're gonna get that. to make your story yeah no, yeah <laughs> not that you don't already have 200 <laughs> reasons <laughs> 
Yeah, no, thank you guys. I mean, I'm truly honored. I it really, it's flattering that you guys invited me. I uh, appreciate uh, taking some time with me. And yeah, I, 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 you know, you got to come see the battle bunnies. If you're going, what, what are these guys talking about? You know, it's, I think just spending the 15 minutes in the discord, we'll, we'll start to, you'll get it. It'll start to make a lot of sense. Um, and so again, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate the time. Um, yeah. And, and watch out. I'm going to keep on picking them up and, and every series that comes out after this, I'll be on top. Uh, I'll, tr I'll make an attempt, right. Uh, I'm fortunate I've been blessed. And so that's something that I can do. Um, but uh, it certainly is buying in as I see it into a project. I think that's just going to explode and, and really, really, I, I see it this way, change a lot of people's lives. I, and, and that's, that's, that's why I value it and why I continue to invest in it. Same here. Well said. Great. Well, uh, I echo everything everybody else has said. Uh, we will, um, we will definitely look forward to bringing you back on to talk about, you know, more. So, uh, uh, I won't belabor that, uh, you are, you're always welcome. If you want to work on that big giant billboard of, of, a or of a ultimate guide, um, we're your guys too. Um, okay. we'd definitely be interested in collaborating on something like that. Um, this is a fan cast for fans and we're all fans like working together for the good of this project, but it's more than a project. It's like, like Luke said, it's an Epic franchise. Like yeah. this thing is, you know, this thing is just at the beginning and it's going to, to get bigger and bigger because of people like us that just love it and want to see it succeed. So, um, so yeah, um, definitely welcome to come back and join us anytime. Um, advise us on stuff, you know, with your, you know, great knowledge of, of everything, the battle bunnies, but please, 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 uh, spend some time learning the names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, challenge accepted. We will too. We will too. Yeah. <laughs> So ne ne maybe maybe next uh, one we can just do a, an all round guess who this person is and yeah me, yeah yeah me and DBS will will we'll try spread and it out yeah 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 we'll spread out the love to, to 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 quiz those guys and and they should get in there and <laughs> like obviously I know the names because I I pulled them down I didn't know a lot of the names until I was like coming up with the game so so yeah you hear that, DBS? Yeah. we're gonna we're gonna do one for him okay in the near oh future. do one for me yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah no I'm game for that like. Um, I'm, I'm going to be like Bill. I'm going to make like some flashcards and, you know, work on them and, you know, be I, able I, to draw them out. <laughs> I'll say, is this one mine or yours? And then, then the next time we'll, I'll say, is this one mine or yours? I'm like, that's the same one. I'm like, all right, just play the game. Is this one mine or yours? <laughs> Bill, you didn't get, you, like, I created another game. I, I created another game he's talking about with, with, with creature called um, uh, my bunny or yours. Uh -huh. And uh, like it, it was the same kind of thing where like I show a picture of good, a bunny and like I did some obvious ones, like some Spartans that, you know, you're not going to have like a hundred Spartans. But I think I think if I if I created that for you and I, uh, that one might be challenging because we probably have some that, you know, that very, very similar. Um, when I threw the egg up at the end, I knew that that was going to be like the hmm. I was like, you got a fifty percent chance. It's either yours or it's mine. You know. <laughs> yeah, that would be tough too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I don't know, like, the details of every single bunny that I've bought in the last few months, but I got a general idea. So, I mean, obviously, I've got some ones back here. You wouldn't yeah. stump me on any of these if you did that for me. Uh, yeah. But uh, some of my ghosts or the Uligans or yeah, something like that, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, if you would have done TCG, then that might have been, I may have had a better chance, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I got you guys the cards the first. TCG. Um, if I knew what the cards were, I could have, yeah, I could have definitely went for the Vikings and the pirates that are in the TCG and used more of them in your quiz, so. Oh, no, um, no, no. That was great, man. I, it woke me up. I, now I know what I need to do, so I, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like as as you see my name it says the completionist i have a feeling you have the same compulsory behavior like i do yep. where you can't just like know that there's two eggs that you still don't have and not like spend every day going well how can i trade or you know negotiate to get those last two eggs that i need yeah. and not like think about that stuff like all the time like it's a browser window i need to close yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know so i have a feeling you you have that same compulsion and 
it's you know, it, I think it's we all problem. do. Yeah, this is our support level. group, BBS and Luke. <laughs> for Bill, for guys like Bill and I, or girls, you know, you know, it, you know, we got to complete the collection. You know, we got to get our things, or you know, we've got these constant things working in our minds, and that's just not good for the the rest of our lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have that light switch once in a while, be able to turn it off. Yeah, just, just it. turn it off. Like, I'm not thinking about eggs right now at all because I finally got all 25 var varieties. Mm -hmm. So I'm good. Mm -hmm. Like, now it's just upgrading them. Yeah. It's like, how do I go to legendary? Yep. <laughs> That's <laughs> a challenge. Really? That is a yeah. challenge. Don't look. Yeah. You're not getting it. You're not I getting don't it. Need <laughs> I have one just like it. I have uh, I have the rock gnaw. Um, that was the, uh, like, I only had a few eggs that hadn't hatched at the end and I get, mm -hmm. a, I got a legendary rock knoff that was the clay one. Um, so I have an yeah. unhatchable clay. I have a rock knoff legendary clay. And then I have a mythic clay egg in which clay clays the uncommon, but yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, yeah, I would love it if they were like the epic, you know, and all versions of that, but it's not, but, uh, yeah. anyways. But yeah, I mean, we got to stop. It's an hour plus you know, <laughs> time, Bill. We'll, we'll bring you back on and we can talk about like all that stuff. Um, cool, man. And I'll start, anyway. like I said, I'll start practicing just in case. I'll be I'll be ready for the next Just game. in case. I might have yeah. a new game by then too. You okay. Know, the, it'll probably involve the Dark Dragons. Sure. So pay attention. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Thank Love you, it. Bill. Yeah, thanks, thanks guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one, man. Thanks for doing this too. This is so cool. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah. We All love right. it. See, see, oh, see you. Um, wow. Like that's like, that was one of my favorites. You know, I knew I was going to have mm. a kin, you know, kinship with Bill and collections and just everything. Yeah. Um, loved, uh, loved having him on the show. On, on something yeah, exactly. Being such a, a big integral part of the Battle Bunnies, being a massive holder, being so big in the TCG, like none, none of that is actually, you know, like relevant in the sense of like how much of a good community member he is. But, you know, it just goes to show like he, him, the love that he has and he's like, he just projected it then. Like if you, you couldn't feel the love then, I, I, I mean, we need, to, we need to help you with some feelings, but it was like... To me, like it seeing him up right. from <laughs> from seeing him from ear, smile to ear to ear, you know, and talking about what we all talk about every single day, it just reassures me, um, you know, we are doing the right thing. He printed out the cards. He, he printed, printed the out cards, a yeah. whole deck of cards, like and laminated them. Like that is that never is never played TCG in his life twelve months yeah. ago, and thought he well, would, and then. Yeah. He didn't even know TCGs. They didn't even know the Battle Bunnies to be in, falling in love with the story, because that's what when we talked about creature, that was one of the things he says is nobody plays a TCG to just play the mechanics of a TCG. They play because yeah. they get into the story, like it's about the story. So, Bill came into our world in December. That was ten months, nine nine or ten months ago. The story is, you know, now part of it. And that's why he wants to play the TCG because he wants to extend the story mm -hmm. into the game. And that's so cool. I don't even play TCG. Like, that's the thing. Like, if you guys ask me any TCG things, that's where you're going to stump me because, like, I, mm -hmm. you know, my kids play Pokemon and um, they played like Yu Gi Oh! and some of those things, but not, uh, not to the point where like they, sucked me into it and i started playing with them i just helped them get cards and never any magic the gathering or any of that stuff growing up i never played dungeons and dragons like i played board games but not like the those types of games so but i want to learn like that's the thing about our mm -hmm. community is i want to learn because i want to be part of the story with with the battle bunnies and that's what makes us ultimate fans and um is we want to you know we want to do more so so yeah, that was cool. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love, like I, I have history with, with uh, Bill. And so I know how passionate he was about the other project that we were a part of. So seeing him like land in here, um, I kind of knew what was going to happen <laughs> once he figured it out. And, um, and he did not disappoint. Like he just, he just went right for it. And so super happy that he's a part of this community. It's really like, 
if you think about it, like each episode that we have here, they're like a puzzle piece to this whole world. And, and Bill is like two puzzle pieces. Right? So like everybody, everybody has like a puzzle piece. Some people have more. I feel like he, he is just that part of this whole group. And it's just like the corner that piece. one thing that we're, we're talking about today. It's like, that's what we're explaining. That's why we're doing this. Uh, yeah. We're ultimate fans, but we're also, you know, just trying to showcase different parts of different puzzle pieces to this world. No, I love that. That's great. We'll close this out, BBS man. That was that was perfect. I loved your puzzle piece analogy. We're gonna have to do something with that because, <laughs> you know, that's that. I, I love the fact that uh, you know I can be a puzzle piece. You can be a puzzle piece. Um, yeah. um, Luke can add two puzzle every, pieces. Without, without every <laughs> single piece, you can't you know create the puzzle. So it's definitely yeah, yeah. an awesome analogy. Yeah, that's mm. perfect. Well, thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate, uh, we appreciate you fans of our show, the ultimate fan cast. And we look forward to doing this again. Um, we've got, uh, we've got some others coming up and we can't wait to share those with you. So thank you for tuning in. And uh, next time we'll try to keep it less than an hour, <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate everything. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today, Ultimate Fan. BBS, Lord L, and Brian, that's me, do hope you enjoyed today's program as much as we did, where Ultimate Fans like you are the stars of the show. We'd be honored to have you join us on a future episode where you can share your story and love of the Battle Bunnies with this encouraging community. It would be the greatest compliment if you shared something you love about the Battle Bunnies on your favorite social platform today like X, Facebook, or Instagram and tagged us or simply use hashtag ultimate fan cast so we can recognize and celebrate with you and other super fans by sharing your post. Bonus points if you do both and use an image of one of your favorite battle bunnies or a screenshot of this episode. We know you share, like, and comment because you care about our fellow ultimate fans as much as we do. Please leave comments too to let us know how we can make this the greatest fan experience for the battle bunnies community. This podcast is sponsored by Hairstream Media, your bunnies all the time streaming service. Okay, not really. It is just us fans like you giving some of our time to support other fans like you. Join us over in the Battle Bunnies community and Discord to continue the fun. We hope you tune in with us each week. So make it easy. Subscribe now. We'll be here to keep you hopping when you need us.